Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now, you know the scenario, you've got a long trip planned, you're gonna be away for a long time, and uh, you're gonna have to take only minimal clothing with you. So what it means is you're gonna have to wash as you go. Trouble is, you're only staying, uh, you're not hanging around, so you're gonna have to get your stuff dried overnight. What's the best way to do that? Well, stick around, stay tuned, I'll show you. So I recently returned from a long tour to Japan with my wife and uh, we were away for several weeks and uh, we only had enough uh, space to store minimal clothing on our trip so we had to wash as we went along. So uh, while we were doing that I thought it might be useful to show you what we do to get our clothes dry overnight. Check this out. Right, now something that often people ask me about when we're on these tours is some of the practical aspects of what you do because of course we're away for, we've actually been away from home for about a month on this Japan tour uh, on the bike for over two weeks and we have to carry all our kit with us. So the trick is to carry minimal kit and then as you go wash as you can. So just wanted to show you how we go about getting things dry because that's usually the biggest issue. First off, uh, well actually before that, let me just show you, we came across some friends of ours on the Alaska tour uh, last year recommended a particular make of underpant. Here we go, this is them, they're very very fetching, other brands are available, but they're kind of a lightweight technical fabric and they dry out very easy, so uh, that's what we use, we've got three pairs of those each basically, there's a female version as well, uh, again not very fetching but practical for touring, uh, and the idea is you have a pair on and you have two clean ones on the go and you kind of roll in that way. So wash them in the sink in the usual way and give them a really good uh, rinse out on a really good ring so that's the first thing and then the trick to getting stuff dry we've found is as follows let me just get these completely you get them as wrung out as you can obviously and then you move to the clever bit which uh, my mate Nige from the Norway tour taught me some years back right once you've got your fully ringed out clothing you do this right Stage two of this, you take your fully ringed out clothing and um, towels that you've used previously to have your shower in earlier in the day or whatever, so before they get changed at the hotel, and then lay said freshly wrung out clothes in them, like this, filling every gap on the towel, get them as flat as possible, and then roll the towel, like so, in fact, if I've got a t-shirt, I can put that in here too. You don't want to waste any dry, dry towel when you're doing this. All right, here's one of my Rucker t-shirts that I, I have three of these that I rotate as well. And again, they're made of a technical fabric which dries out easy. Again, you lay it out in the towel like so. Okay, the sleeves are sticking out a little bit here. Tightly roll it. I might be teaching to suck eggs here, but people do ask, how do you get your washing done? And this is how we do it. Like so, I can already feel that towel is getting wet, so it's sucking some moisture out. And then the trick is to kneel on it with all your weight. Like so. Da, 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 da. End to end. Maybe even fold it in half. Same again. Like so, and then you'll find when you unroll or roll the towel, you end up with wet knees, but you've got pretty much dry clothes. So if I pull that out now, there we go. Pretty much clean underpants and, and dry underpants, pretty much dry socks, pretty much dry. I mean, you could wear that now without any further issue but what we'll do is hang that up now on a hanger and just leave it for a day we're at this hotel overnight and uh, that means that'll be bone dry tomorrow morning absolutely perfect so that's how we go about doing it anyway i recommend it to the house so if you want to check out that quick drying kit from Rowan, by the way, I've put a link below to the Rowan store on Amazon. And full disclosure, uh, the link below is what's called an affiliate link. So if you click on that and subsequently buy something, I get a little bit of a kickback to the channel, so you'll be helping me out. But it's at no extra cost to you, so we'll just to let you know that. Uh, and the other thing to let you know is that clip you just saw was actually from that recent Japan tour. I made a whole series of videos on that tour. If you haven't seen that trip and you want to, then uh, I'll put a link in the corner to that playlist as well. So do go back and check those out if you're so inclined. All right, that's it for this time. Hope that was a of, uh, use and of some interest. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mist and Flyer. Cheerio. Hey kids, we're the Mist and the Flyers. Flyers, Flyers.